I think the sheep are incredibly sensitive. Sheep definitely pick up on body language, energy, of emotional intention of all of the animals that are around them. Laura is very sensitive to what those animals need and sharing them is essential for their health and to produce high quality wool. My name is Laura Kincaid. I am a professional sheep shearer. We are at Bodega Pastures in Bodega, California. It is a expansive thousand acre sheep ranch that's been in the stewardship that it's currently under for decades. Today we moved the sheep from a pasture that they've been practicing rotational grazing where they move their sheep from one pasture to the next as a way of stewarding the land, keeping the grass down. We moved the sheep from the pasture that they spent last night and down to the barn and into the, the shearing part of the barn where I've been shearing for the last five years, actually. Laura is humble, hardworking, and diligent. Also is just well regarded for how she works with animals. Laura's work is essential in both our food and fiber system. If you care about where your food comes from, you should also care about where your fiber comes from. Sheep shearing is an incredibly unique process. It's one of the most hands-on professions that you can really have with an animal. Shearing is completely vital for the health and well-being of the animal. It helps them avoid heat stroke, heart attack. There could be parasitic infestation if we let the sheep's wool get too massive. It is really like a haircut. Fibershed is an organization focused on 51 counties in California. We regionalize and land regenerate fiber and natural dye systems, what we call fiber sovereignty, which is access to materials that are grown on your landscape. What we're wearing is generally the product of systems of manufacturing that are existing wholly in other countries and raw material is being sourced from all over the world with no stamp saying, you know, this is from a ranch that does climate beneficial agriculture. Often what's happening is the textiles are filled with a combination of a natural, a little bit of a natural fiber and a lot of plastic. And that makes the clothing artificially cheap. And then what it starts to do over time, it degrades. Those particles end up in our bays, end up in our soil. We have devalued and ignored all of these very virtuous materials that are coming off the landscape that could be clothing us. We have to think about working landscapes as, as the real integrated system they are. They're not just feeding us, they're clothing us. I've just been in love with wool my whole life. My name is Jessica Switzer Green and I'm the owner of JG Switzer. I uh, manufacture all kinds of fantastic woolly products uh, from a felting machine process. We're based in Sonoma County and we're big fans and supporters of our local fiber shed. 90% of all of our wool cloth is sourced from within our fiber shed within a hundred mile radius of our workshop. We take a lot of the wool that you saw being shorn today and we have it turned into a large bat. This is a bat from Bodega Pastures. Um, I have it cleaned and carded. I get it in different colors. And I'll paint with um, different types of wool from within the fiber shed. Um, and then we'll run it through our large seven and a half ton industrial felting machine. And from it, we make cat mats, bath mats, home mats, and designer fabrics. It's really important to use wool within our local fiber shed because we're keeping it in the community, encouraging climate beneficial production of the soil and fields for our local sheep farmers. Sheep and livestock in general are so important for soil health. Sheep and other grazing animals are a huge benefit to folks that are trying to steward, improve soil health, and sequester carbon. The best climate solution is keep your clothing longer and invest in the right piece that's timeless up front. 
can't consume this much. And so we need to put more money into fewer products. Women are becoming much more a part of the shearing community. 20 years ago, it, it was still almost entirely men. I really actually enjoy the, the part of the work where I can show up and change someone's mind about what a woman is capable of doing without even opening my mouth. Without people like Rebecca Burgess, who galvanized an entire community of uh, sheep farmers and fiber enthusiasts, and without people like Laura Kincaid, who shear those sheep for us, we don't have our wool. As the world becomes more dominated by technology, I feel more drawn towards real work and doing things that are grounded in, in materials and grounded in living creatures. It's pretty, pretty physically intense work. Shearing has been an incredibly formative lesson for me in learning how far I can push myself. I think that I would miss shearing if I stopped. I love being able to meet people who have such an embedded history on the land and getting to hear the knowledge that they have about places that I think too often goes underappreciated in our culture.